So, Morgan, I'll turn it back over to you to have the other recommendations introduced, and we'll go from there. Thank you, Joe. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and take uh, questions and comments about these uh, recommendations uh, at the conclusion. Uh, the second recommendation um, is looking at the use of enhanced clinical preventative services uh, to monitor, uh, prevent weight gain, especially for individuals who are overweight and at risk of becoming obese. So the first one was really about the, the interventions, coverage of the interventions, which uh, have a strong evidence-based, independent, scientifically peer-reviewed basis. This is to use a um, uh, provision that has been in the House bill and in some of the Senate proposals for a specific coverage of clinical preventative uh, interventions. Now that can cover a very wide range of uh, preventative uh, health services. What we're hoping to do is to encourage that benefit be used for the identification or screening of individuals before they become obese or at the outset of overweight or even if they have any kind of uh, rather sudden change in their weight status since weight loss may also be indicative of a health problem or a rapid weight gain or rapid weight loss. And I think we're very encouraged uh, by this on two fronts. One is that as the health information technology processes are moving ahead, um, the capture of BMI information is, uh, seems to be uh, well established as part of that. We think that can serve as a useful prompt for uh, physicians and patients to initiate this conversation without um, feelings of embarrassment or stigma, stigma uh, or uh, uh, shame involved. And also organizations like the National Commission for Quality Assurance uh, in their uh, current HEDIS uh, plan have the electronic medical records in managed care organizations capturing this, alerting the uh, clinical providers as to the BMI status and, and to encourage uh, a next step in terms of counseling. Uh, I'd also like to make the point that the uh, STOP Obesity Alliance is working um, on related aspects to this. We had a workshop August 5th on uh, primary care and obesity, looking for, a, uh, we're developing a white paper about this, and we have a survey in process of primary care physicians and patients to look more, find more specifically where the communication um, gaps are between uh, these two elements. So we're very encouraged by this. This is a significant step forward uh, in getting the kind of preventative services that we 